Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel VLOOKUP series that is running into my channel. Friends today in this short video we are going to learn about an important and useful formula that is called the lookup formula and we are going to look up for a value that will be between two numbers so without wasting any time let's begin and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel so let's start to look up values between two values and return a corresponding result you can use the lookup function and a shorted table in this example in this database you can see I have a number column and a table array that will be used in the formula to use this we simply have to type the formula like lookup look at here now it is asking for lookup value and our lookup value will be this cell I'm selecting that cell then put a comma then it is asking for lookup vector now here we will select our minimum value table here and make sure to press F4 from your keyboard to lock your table array then put a comma again then it is asking for result vector and our result vector that means we are searching for the grade so in this case our grade is in this column again press F4 to lock your table array lock your cell reference numbers then simply close the brackets and hit the enter button look at here as it is 50 here you can see that it is poor so it has been showed you exactly what you are looking for and if you copy the formula from upside down as you have locked your references so it will be copied without any error so let's check how this formula actually works the lookup function does an approximate match lookup in one range and returns the corresponding value in another although the table in this example includes both maximum and minimum values we only need to use the minimum values this is because when lookup can't find a match it will match the next smallest value lookup is configured like this the lookup value comes from column b that is this one the lookup vector is entered as minimum column that is from E5 to E9 the result vector is entered as the grade column that is from G5 to G9 so lookup behaves like this if lookup encounters an exact match in the lookup vector the corresponding value in the result vector is returned if no exact match is found lookup will traverse the lookup vector until a larger value is found then step back to the previous row and return a result if the lookup value is greater than the largest value in the lookup vector lookup will return a result associated with the last value in the lookup vectors note carefully values in the lookup vector must be shorted in ascending order that means if you do not short this one as ascending order you might get errors so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video Please share this video with your friends, share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section. Keep learning, keep supporting this channel and stay tuned.